Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Mountains emboss the fabric of this vast continent. Ranges rising from verdant fields and prairies. Alpine peaks casting jagged shadows over seas of sand. Crossing the border from New Mexico into the state of Texas, you enter the parched Chihuahuan Desert and Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Along an abandoned 19th century stagecoach route in West Texas, Guadalupe Mountains National Park showcases over 100 square miles of pristine wilderness, including the tallest peaks in Texas. Had you been able to make this trip 250 million years ago, these same waterless flatlands would have looked like this. Before there were animals on this planet or flowering plants, a salty inland sea covered thousands of square miles of what is now West Texas. Then, some 200 million years ago, that sea ebbed and disappeared, leaving an ocean reef stranded in the killing sun. Today, this is simply a salt and grain desert. It's strange, walking on waterless desert tracts of what had once been an ocean floor. Teeming with prehistoric sea life. And then gazing up at El Capitan, knowing that the rocks of this 8,085-foot monolith had once been underwater. and that an undersea reef rose to become Guadalupe Peak, the highest mountain in Texas. These peaks poke into the rain clouds as though thirsting for water they were once submerged in, their porous limestone absorbing moisture from the sky. Year-round, the sky waters seep throughout the fossil reef, often underground. Then at times, they burst forth as life-giving springs. New life erupts. Once again, this reef is teeming with living things. Hiking trails, winding through pinyon, pine, and fir, lead to spectacular views of El Capitan and the vast Chihuahuan Desert. Since its construction in 1876, the Frijoli Ranch House Complex has been ranch, post office, gathering place, ranger residence, and now museum, showcasing Guadalupe's diverse legacy. This had been Apache country. Apache bands fought fiercely against the wagon loads of pioneers who'd come to settle, and the U.S. cavalry that rode hard to protect them. In the middle of the 19th century, the westbound Butterfield Overland Stagecoach cut across this territory. At Guadalupe Pass, you can see the ruins of its station house, the highest point on its 2,800-mile route. After the Civil War, the African-American 9th and 10th Cavalries were brought in to subdue the warlike Apaches. They fight like a cornered buffalo, was the way the Apaches sized them up. It was from their enemy that these African-American fighting men got the name Buffalo Soldiers. <laughs> 